everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. And today I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you a small idea. If you like to create ATC cards uh, and you like to send them, today I'm coming to share with you hopefully easy way to make a uh, peel off envelope envelope which you can send closed and then a receiver will have to cut the string and peel off the string around your envelope and open it this envelope uh, contains two pockets for your ATCs and another pockets for some goodies and once you will receive and open that envelope you can also use it in your journals you can make another pocket using this envelope and that's very easy. I'm gonna find my glue. And I'm gonna put the glue here on this spot. And I'm gonna put that envelope on this half of paper. Same you can do With the other envelope, I'm going to show you this envelope will be open the around this way. So it will be open this way, not long side, but this way. And it can be glued to your half page as an opening, another opening envelope. I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. So for making these cute envelopes for ATC cards, uh, you will need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. I'm gonna be using this one side print 12 by 12 and first what I need to do is cut the 12 by 12 on two pieces. One will be 7 inches and that rest. So I'm gonna cut the 7 inch strip. And here is that rest and that rest I'm gonna cut on half so I will have six and six two pieces six inches long and five inches wide that's all for from cutting now and now we're gonna score so I'm gonna grab this large piece of paper and I'm gonna score one quarter of inch this long side one quarter one quarter of inch and half inch then i'm gonna flip it on the opposite side and score exactly same one quarter and half then flip it this way and first score lines will be one quarter, then half. Next score line will be four and half, then four and three quarter. And next score line will be eight and three quarter. and nine that's all for scoring line this large piece and I'm gonna grab these small pieces and score them straight away as well so I'm gonna place my uh, small piece with that six inches with that six inches uh, side here on the top and I'm gonna score uh, one quarter and three eighths. Here we are making just one eighth of inch gap. Then next score line will be three and one eighth. And then three and one quarter. Then flip it this way. And we're going to score one quarter and three eighths of inch. And then 
four and four and one eight. I'm going to score the second part exactly the same, so a long side, long side on the top and score one quarter, three eight, three and one, and three and one quarter. One quarter and three eighths, four and four and one eight. That's all from scoring. So now I'm gonna grab my scissors and I also used distress ink to make sure you will have a really nice uh, visible view on my scoring lines so it will be easy to explain what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut off pieces which I don't need. So this small part, I'm gonna cut off this double crossed corner like this right behind those score lines and double crossed corner here just cut it off and on this last strip <coughs> pardon me I'm gonna cut the corners just a slightly to make their angle I'm gonna flip it this way where the end is shorter here this is longer so where the end is shorter, I'm gonna cut off, oh, sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> cut it here between the first score line from the corner which I just cut off. So here before that score line and here this all piece I'm gonna cut off. And again on this small strip I'm gonna cut the corners in the angle then I'm gonna flip it this way and here where the ends are longer I'm gonna cut off this middle part including these two score lines so right behind that second score line I'm gonna cut now I can take a glue <clears throat> where there are these sides I'm gonna keep this uh, part as the flap of my envelope so this part I'm gonna fold including both score lines so I'm gonna fold it in there I'm gonna grab my glue and glue this part to my pocket it will reinforce the entry to my pocket I'm gonna have a look from this side if I do have any kind of access here I'm gonna cut it off to make it straight like this and I'm gonna also take large circle punch and I'm gonna punch on this part I'm gonna punch the entry to my pocket so here on this side and on this side I can watch if I am kind of ish in the middle and I'm gonna punch half circle now I can fold all these score lines I'm gonna also uh, Cut the corners with corner punch here and here and now I do have prepared the base for my pocket for creating a closure for my pocket I'm gonna be using this old envelope and I'm gonna be punching four circles because I do have two, two these, uh, of these pockets but before I will do so I'm gonna punch the hole and then I'm gonna grab my circle paper circle punch and punch the circle with that hole in the middle 
this much more easy this way when I first punch the middle part, middle hole of my circle and then I'm kind of managing to put the circle around the hole and I'm trying to put that hole to the middle of my circle. I hope that makes sense, that sentence. <laughs> Maybe it's not. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense, what I just said. So again, and one more. And for that circle, I did use um, half inch circle punch from EK Success. EK Success circle punch. So now I'm gonna grab the ruler. I'm gonna bring back my poking tool. Nearly forgot. I'm gonna match both of these envelopes because they are exactly same. I already pre-made that second part. So they are exactly same. So I'm gonna put them together. And here, where is the flap of my envelopes? I'm gonna mark the middle somewhere here. There I will be adding the first half of my closure. I'm gonna take one of these envelopes, fold it half, and with the pencil or some marker, I'm gonna make a dot where I think I'm supposed to add the second circle a little bit lower here. I'm gonna put both of these envelopes together again to match them. Grab my poking tool and poke the hole. Now I know where to add my th those circles which will be used as a closure. So I'm gonna grab one punched circle, one of these golden brats or paper fasteners and I'm gonna slide it in and open and here from inside I'm gonna secure it with this medical tape just to make sure that it will be not on the way where I will want to add my ATC cards inside I'm gonna take another one with the circle and I'm gonna do same on the flap of my envelope place it through and secure it here with that medical tape you can put there any kind of washi tape or maybe decorative sticker so I do have prepared one I'm gonna do exactly same on that second one so I do have that closure prepared now I can fold these two folds I'm gonna take a glue put there a glue on the ends of these folds I'm gonna keep that one eighth of inch gap here and here now I can fold that rest and glue it together so with this scoring and folding we just created kind of like dimensional uh, pocket with one eighth of inch gap on three sides I'm gonna let this dry and once you have your envelopes glued together I need to hold it here I guess just add that the string to make a closure slide the string under the circle go around here and go around here and I do have my a little envelope now I can move to this large part so on one side we do have these two score lines I'm gonna cut off these two double crossed corners just straight cutting here 
and straight cutting here then I'm gonna cut off this small part Same on the opposite side, cut it off, and now here I'm gonna cut this off, including those two score lines. So I'm gonna use that first score line as my navigator and cut this off. Here you can see scored corners here on the bottom. So cut them off. You can cut them in the angle, 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 cut in the angle, cut in the angle. And then I'm also cut angle here and here. I'm gonna fold these sides totally, including both of these score lines. And to one side I will fold a slightly more than it's the score line, because I will need to fit this into this space. So I need to make it slightly smaller. So I'm folding right behind the score line to make it slightly smaller. Here you can see how much I kind of folded it more. So I need to cut this one more time in the angle. And I can fold this one over. That will be pocket. I'm gonna keep this one here on the bottom. Now I'm gonna grab one of these envelopes or pockets I'm gonna fold one side of that top top part totally, including both score lines. I'm gonna fold it totally. Put there a glue. Grab my envelope and place that envelope on that piece. And let it dry. On the bottom part, I need to fold the opposite side. So I'm gonna fold this totally. I'm gonna put glue here. Take another envelope, place it there and let it dry. And I didn't place these envelopes totally in the end, like to, to the edge. I'm gonna show you. I'm keeping there just small gap between edge of the paper and my envelope. Same is here. I'm keeping that just small gap and I'm gonna let this dry. Yeah, I should let this, <laughs> should let this dry. Just bear with me. <laughs> We're gonna wait. And now is your piece to, ready to be decorated. So first, before I will glue down this pocket here, and here you can see why I folded one side a little bit more. To make sure I can fit right here so I can close this and I can then lift up this side that's why I folded one side slightly more than it was scored so I do have prepared that piece I can decorate it with some ephemeras I guess so for decorating I've got here some ephemeras uh, stamped images and this washi tape because the background it's very busy I choose this uh, solid color uh, from my washi tapes I think it will look awesome and it will be very visible if I will put there some very busy washi tape it can kind of get lost on this background so I'm gonna place here strip of my washi tape and then I will choose some ephemeras kind of like make a little layout I'm gonna distress the edges I'm gonna be using vintage photo distress ink 
and a little bit distress the edges. Also here. And create simple little layouts. I can use also sewing machine and add there some sewing. So one right here on the edge. One right here. Maybe a piece of lace will be nice to add there. And maybe some stickers. Maybe this one. And one from these stamped images. Or maybe two, why not? Oh yeah, two. I'm gonna place that two images of this. And now I can add my pocket here into my envelope, but I'm gonna be using also um, stencil. The steam hall stencil splatters. It's called splatters and it's perfect for stenciling kind of like coffee stain paper. Like this. Here I can add my pocket. I'm gonna take a glue and glue my pocket right here. gonna add these stamped images also on this small pocket just like decoration okay here I can add uh, another ephemera Maybe this one, and if I will glue it uh, on three sides, here, here, and here, and glue it down, I can have pocket from this side. So I'm going to distress the edges this way, so here, here, and here. Place it on my board. And I do have pocket from this side. And I do have pocket here. This way. I can fold these down for gluing this envelope and preparing this envelope to be sent. Uh, I'm gonna add one more thing and that's this, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> this uh, thread. It's nice, visible and it's easy to add it to my envelope. I will need double-sided tape and I'm gonna put double-sided tape on the middle part here on the start and the finish of that middle part so here and here you don't need big piece of that double-sided tape you just need to um, <clears throat> catch the string that's that's all then uh, I'm gonna go kind of like around that envelope. So here on that side and again just on the start and on the end. And here on the start and on the end. I'm gonna take the string, take off the covering paper from my double-sided tape and <clears throat> now I'm gonna take the double-sided tape place 
quite a big amount about the leg of this envelope I will say kind of like over the edge I'm gonna keep it there and then I'm gonna glue the string here in that middle here in that middle now I'm gonna go here and here here and here and again here on this end I'm gonna keep quite similar like like I do have here and once I will add there my ATC cards I can just ATC cards, some goodies and some letter to those pockets. I can just close the envelope. I'm gonna fold this lace here. So I can just close the envelope, keep the string around and I'm gonna put the glue here on this edge and glue it over. And same I'm gonna do with these two folds. I'm gonna put the glue on the end, fold it over and glue it down. Put the glue here on the end, fold it over and glue it down. That way I did seal all that envelope. I'm gonna wait until it's dry. So once your sides are nice and sealed and they are holding together, you just need to secure these ends to make sure they will survive through the traveling. So I'm gonna cross them here and I'm gonna be using this wax and secure them with a wax. And now my envelope is ready to be shipped. Here I do have nice space for placing label with the name and address. And I can ship that envelope straight away. Once the, the receiver will get the envelope, it's good to add here some note how to open it. That this can be open and kept as a booklet if they will do it right. So you just need to cut one side of the string. And then use that string like peeling off thingy. So just hold that string and peel that string or pull that string around your envelope. Once you are on the end, you do have your pocket here, <laughs> your pocket here. And you do have your pockets with ATC. I have prepared uh, from other piece of uh, the 12 by 12, I prepared another envelope. And here I'm going to show you how you can add the string a little bit different way that you will have closure on the opposite way. And then you will open booklet this way. So with this uh, slightly different closing, we will glue the string on this side and this bottom side. So here I'm going to put double sided tape, here I'm going to put double sided tape, here I'm going to put double sided tape and here just to hold the string on the right spots I'm going to take off the covering paper from my double sided tape. And now I'm going to take a string, I'm going to keep here about this leg because it will be crossed that way. 
to about this leg and from here I'm gonna start to put my string on these folds here and here and here I'm gonna keep the string just in there when I will be closing that envelope I will pay attention so first I'm gonna glue the side where the string it's not glued with double-sided tape so I'm gonna put the string here cut about the same leg right here keep the envelope folded the right way I'm gonna grab my glue and put the glue here on that end hold the string and fold this over and glue this side of my envelope and I'm gonna wait till this is dry once this side is dry I can flip it over make sure that both strings are out of my envelope I'm gonna put the glue here on this fold and this fold or this end and that other end and fold them over and glue it to close my envelope once all my sides are sealed I'm gonna grab the strings I'm gonna cross them here and again I'm gonna be using wax technique to seal it So now my envelope is ready to be shipped. I do have here space for placing label uh, with the address and then uh, the envelope will be ready to ship. I need to let it dry properly, I see. Make sure everything is sealed. And again, once the receiver will get the envelope, they just need to cut one side of the string and then same way. To hold the envelope I do have here a little bit of my lace hold the envelope and peel it around once they are here they can open the little booklet and there they do have two pockets for ATC cards then two another pockets for some goodies and letter and message for some note card for making my ATC cards, I'm gonna be using this leftover from wrapping paper. Uh, this beautiful Western Creative paper punch, which is punching the top, and playing cards for ATC cards. I wanted to say I'm gonna be using <laughs> playing cards as my base. So first, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one of these cards, slide it in. And here I will try to manage to see this uh, mark and this mark in some kind of same position to make sure I am in the middle-ish. And hope for the best. And punch. So that way I do have this pattern. And I do have beautiful top. So maybe... I can use it for some game uh, game journal. Now this inside, I'm just gonna grab the ruler and knife and cut that um, tap pattern to the frame. I'm gonna cut this off. So now I do have perfect frame for my ATC card. I can keep these. Maybe I will make it as a decoration now i'm gonna take double-sided tape i think first i would like to see there a little bit of 
grunginess or vintage look. So I'm going to take vintage photo distress ink, my distress ink tool. This is, by the way, I do have, uh, I do get many questions about this. This is, by the way, the buffering cube for nails. I just cut it on half and I'm using <laughs> this tool for ages for distressing, for editing color to my projects. So just very softly. Add there a little bit of vintage feel. I'm going to take my double-sided tape and put the double-sided tape here. And on the top. And I think that will be enough. And now I'm going to take my beautiful wintery uh, wrapping, wrapping foil. I'm, I'm not sure how you call these. It's like wrapping foil or, you know, for gifts. And I'm just going to place it over it and cut the shape of that card. Like this. I would like to use somehow these small parts, so I'm going to take my nail file and I'm going to just sand the edges. And then distress them with the same ink. I did sand it with my nail file just because it does have glossy coat, that top coat, and it doesn't get stick with distress ink so well. So with this um, sanding, I can get uh, my distress ink stuck to that piece much, much better. I'm going to put a strip of double-sided tape in there. Because I do have there that uh, acetate sheet or that film, that wrapping paper or what is it? And now I can place it right here as a decoration. And I would like to get some stitching to my little card. And lately I felt in love with one stitching on my sewing machine. I'm still on J feet because <laughs> the swapping of these, I, I don't want to mess up with my, with my sewing machine. I, uh, this is like first time when I do have a proper electric sewing machine. So I'm still on that. Uh, on This is J, which you can see here. And number five, I'm going to show you here on the pictures. Number five is this one. It's zigzag but double stitched. So that's what I'm gonna use on my stitching. So for those who will ask me which which type of stitching is that, it's number five on a J feet. And this is how the stitching looks like. As you can see, it's zigzag, but it's stitched through to that zigzag stitching. So. Uh, I add that stitching all around of my card. Now I can take some embellishments. For that I'm going to be using uh, my mini labels with numbers. And also these beautiful transparent stickers. These are called Berry Love. I had them last year in my, uh, in my Etsy shop. I do have other stickers right now in there. If you are interested to have a look. And I'm going to be using my stickers oh upside down <laughs> oh this could be very cute and it looks like this it's beautifully transparent it does have those stars and kind of like snow snowflakes or snowy droppings i think for winter these are really cute i can put there maybe some small stamp over Stamp it right here. So now I just need to make a bunch of them and put them into my pockets. 
I hope you did enjoy this tutorial and you had fun. Uh, hopefully you will try it out this uh, this pocket envelope. Here it's already dry so I can show you this can be used as another pocket this way and I can still open it. So it's gonna slide them out. I can still open my envelope and have a look what kind of goodies I do have inside. So this is all my sharing for today. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.